In Mauritius, artisanal fishing practices are adopting fish aggregating devices, or FADs, for more efficient exploitation of marine resources. A fish aggregating device is composed of a floating structure which is anchored in the open sea to attract pelagic fish. The aggregation of pelagic fish to drifting flood sums is a natural phenomenon and is known to fishermen since the ages. Knowledge on the use of fads is dispensed at a dedicated training center. The intervention of swayo fish has enabled more artisanal fishermen to resort to fad fishery, thus optimizing their catch. The target group of fad users in Mauritius were the traditional artisanal fishermen. <laughs> The development of fad fishery has been successful in Mauritius because it was supported by an appropriate training program. The fad design in Mauritius is the rosary type. In fact, the expertise of Mauritius has been called upon to set fads in countries such as Mozambique, Kenya, Tanzania, Madagascar, and the Comoros. In 2015, World Bank funding via Swire Fish One enabled an important data collection exercise to assess stocks in Comoros Islands. Following this, the ODK, or Open Data Kit Interface, made this data collection portable. Using mobile technology, the data collection project shows how new technology can help developing countries bypass expensive equipment to reach their sustainable development objectives. Across member states of the IOC, crucial data is steadily being gathered for the benefit of the region. In Rodrigues, unregulated octopus fishing was leading to stock collapse. A dwindling female population reduced reproduction rates. This threatened a whole sector of the economy, with the livelihoods of those depending on this resource. In the years 2000, 90% of female octopi caught were below the sexual maturity weight. This indicated an accelerating decline in the stock of octopus and its possible collapse. Successes of closures in Madagascar and the active support obtained by the Rodrigue Regional Assembly from the IOC prompted adoption of closures of octopus fishery in Rodrigues. Today, close regulation and authorized fishing seasons is ensuring sustainable octopus exploitation. As stocks replenish sustainably, the fishing community and the economy are witnessing its benefits. Avec un petit lapis ourit de temps en temps à Rodrigue, nous trouvons Asté, qui est un plus ourit comparé avec dans le passé, bah nous ourit plus grand et de plus meilleure qualité. However, uh, lessons are learned from the many closures there are still challenges to be addressed. The fishers are now convinced of the benefits of closures. The program taught new skills to fishermen for a steady income during fishing closures. Nous fin aussi comprend qu'il est important pour préserver sa ressource là pour nos bonnes générations futures. Si nous la pêche en excès, non, n'y est pas pour rester. Crossing borders, successful practices in octopus fishery management are being adapted in Tanzania. From octopus to shrimps, similar sustainable management practices are being applied to Mozambique. The shallow water shrimp, an important resource for both local artisanal fishermen and large industrial operators in Mozambique, was in danger of being overfished. Swayo fish has enabled management measures to be devised for sustainability of this resource. This shrimp management plan is instrumental to counteract overfishing. A comprehensive monitoring program has also been set up. O zoneamento uh, podemos descrever como a, a divisão de de zonas de pesca 
para melhor controlarmos e para melhor gerirmos aquilo que é a, a pesca, tanto artesanal quanto semi-industrial e industrial, e podermos uh, controlar. With shrimp stocks replenishing and constantly monitored, shrimp fishery has a brighter future in Mozambique. The next step is to focus on value chain for the benefit of all stakeholders. A cadeia de valores que é o processamento é aquilo que nós achamos que é o futuro para além da aquacultura que 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 vai ser desenvolvida para o, o camarão. Lessons learned from this project can be applied across countries of the Indian Ocean, where shrimp is an integral part of the economy. Sea cucumber exploitation has evolved from subsistence fishery to a fully-fledged commercial fishery fueled by high demand, especially from Asia. Since the early 2000s, however, this increased exploitation impacted on stocks, which today are still under threat of collapse. The Seychelles Fishing Authority established measures to counteract the threat. The intervention from COI not only assisted in formalizing this collaboration uh, through the signing of a memorandum of uh, understanding, but also strengthening it by uh, improving the interaction with relevant stakeholders. Through an MOU facilitated by IOC and Swayofish, the SFA and AMSSI, representing the interest of the industry, agreed on important measures to secure stocks while keeping the economy alive. See you. The introduction of a quota system is a very big achievement and has paved the way for enhanced fishery governance both at national and regional level. The different species are slow-growing animals and if not properly managed to be sustainably exploited, the stock could be easily affected. And we also realize the importance of the role it plays in our marine ecosystem. The equilibrium between sustainability and the interests of operators is a priority for the Seychelles. The challenge is to manage the resource in a sustainable way. The Seychelles Fishing Authority will continue to implement this participatory approach to decision making for all its fisheries. And the next step is to implement a co-management regime whereby stakeholders also participate in monitoring control and surveillance activities. In Madagascar, Boat registration started in 2009 to ensure monitoring and surveillance of operators in the fishing industry. Registration has enabled data collection on a large percentage of fishing boats currently in activity. The program de marquage des pirogues a des impacts. Entre autres, le contrôle sur ceux qui exploitent les ressources halétiques et la surveillance des pêches INM. Ce programme est très important parce qu'il nous aide à contrôler les activités de pêche et à combattre la pêche illégale et également à pouvoir mesurer les efforts de pêche, les intérêts socio-économiques et surtout l'aide à la prise de décision. Through sensitization programs financed by Swayofish, fishermen are understanding the importance of registering and joining associations. If you take a function like a fat a portion of the traditional fishing community still resists registration. For the near future, the authorities wish to extend the registration campaign to them as well. Fighting poverty and malnutrition and enhancing food security are major challenges of the poorer regions of Madagascar. With the help of Smartfish, a project was launched in 2014, aiming to accelerate the spread of carp aquaculture in the rice fields of Madagascar's highlands. 
its implementation in Ansirabe, in the Vakinan Karatra, shows how such objectives can be achieved. La mise en œuvre de ce projet a été réalisée en partenariat avec 87 établissements scolaires dans les zones rurales. L'apport de l'APTRA dans ce projet consiste à la conception d'outils pédagogiques adaptés aux collégiens, comme la bande dessinée et le poster, qui reprennent les principaux messages techniques, sociaux, économiques sur la spiciculture. Il y a aussi la formation de près de 300 enseignants pour développer leurs compétences en matière de récipiculture. Rice fish integration makes it possible to optimize the use of land and water resources by combining the production of plant and animal products with minimal investment. Training was dispensed to secondary school students, but parents themselves have expressed their interest to be trained in the process. The experiment was carried out within the education framework and trainers believe it can be replicated in all regions, offering rice fish farming potential. La formation scolaire sur la récipiculture est une voie d'apprentissage et de diffusion de la récipiculture à grande échelle à travers la sensibilisation des futures générations. Electronic management of resources has been taken one step further in the Maldives. Crucial data from monitoring documentation is rearranged in the FIS, the Fishing Information System. It enables the Maldives to comply with the latest international traceability requirements related to catch and vessel reporting. IUU fishing in the southwest Indian Ocean undermines the sustainable management of the fisheries resources, especially tuna stocks, and their socio-economic benefits. In 2007, the IOC member states have established a regional fishery surveillance plan, known as the IOC PRSP, to combat IUU fishing. The project has been financially supported by the European Union for a total amount of 14 million euros. The eight participating countries of Indian Ocean and Eastern Africa controlling 6.4 million km2 of EEZ also contribute at least 20% of the overall operational costs. Since 2015, the World Bank's Swayofish 1 project is also taking a significant part in the consolidation of the PRSP. We are inviting all parties concerned to widely diffuse the best and innovative practices and lessons learned from our select champions and achievers in the field of fisheries management, governance, market development, electronic data collection system, and a plethora of such remarkable but unpublished initiatives at the grassroots level that need to be vented, adapted, or replicated on a wider scale for effective regional cooperation and networking. Poisson, la mer si nous préservait.